it's so funny to watch that all of these places, I guess the kind of thing we're pointing out a lot is the hypocrisy right now of all this stuff. But it's like the amount of people with the COVID uh, riots, because they were getting pretty wild. And a lot of the people that are legitimately posting, um, why aren't the riot squad involved? And they're saying, they're like, <laughs> yeah. it turned everyone so pro cop now. So Victoria, I don't know if you watched the COVID riots, but they got fucking Dude, wild. Australia is lit as fuck right now. Yeah. Well, they said the police union will ask Victoria police why the riot squad was not deployed to a violent anti-lockdown rally in Melbourne that they left several in hospital. And so this is the Guardian. I can find you 9,000 articles being like, they do not they, like if anything, the riots that are happening in uh, you know in New York, they should have uh, therapists that should be responding to it. Yeah, not, <laughs> totally, yeah. And now they're they're kind of saying they should have the National Guard. They should, if anything, they should be beheading these people. <laughs> Pretty much, for for putting everybody at uh, giant risk. Well, it's just so funny to watch the flip. <laughs> I mean, also like in Australia, there people are like. You know, we saw in Toronto or whatever where they'd be like, oh, here's a, a thing. And then it'd be someone marching and then people are like, shame. And, and, and then here they're just like firing rubber bullets at them. I, I think it is is people are like, yeah, you know, this is stuff that happens like in third world countries and then it's coming to like first world countries. Melbourne's nuts. Yeah, like Melbourne's like insane. Like what's going on there? Like they have daily riot. They're like tear gassing. They cracked some fucking old lady's head open and then <laughs> pepper sprayed her as she fell on the ground. She's like, you know, incapacitated and they walk up to her and just like spray her in the face with pepper spray. What was the thing with the KFC? So basically someone got... Oh, in New Zealand. Yeah, so in so Auckland, uh, in New Zealand, there New Zealand's basically has a zero COVID. Po they're the zeroists or whatever, yeah. where they're like, we we want to get it to zero, Not and they had it to zero for like I think four months, and then someone came in on a flight from Sydney or whatever, and now it's like oh. now it's back, and then you know they, it's hard to to get, yeah, no it, get it back to zero or whatever. So they have these really strict lockdowns because they're trying to get it to zero, and they think that. So anyway, someone like snuck out of Auckland. To, I guess somewhere where the lockdowns weren't as bad. Auckland, I think, is the largest city. And then got a bunch of KFC because they just wanted KFC yeah. or, like for their boys. I'm sure it was like a college student or something. It's like, let's go fucking get. And then they were driving on like a dirt road, got pulled over because like you're not allowed to be out. So then the cops were like, they're suspicious just because they're out. And then pulled them over. And I guess the cops were like, well, you know, like, with, with the, it. but it's like the weed thing. They go like, they stick their head in their car. They go, what you guys? What you doing out here? And Do you think leftover from old school racist cops too? They uh, they're trained to uh, be able to sniff KFC. <laughs> yeah, super racist. They imported them from the deep south. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In the U.S. No, and then they like busted them for this just like huge KFC haul, and like they got in all this trouble because they just tried to go get some chicken. Oh, 